all Pam at the Paper Outpost. Let's have some fun with something super easy today that's a, a really fun embellishment that you can tuck into your journal anywhere. You can clip it on, but uh, it's this little guy. And uh, he basically does this. He goes, ear, ear. and I happen to put some words on it with um, just uh, random uh, sentences from a book. And I thought they might be fun to just take a person down a journey of wonder. The sentences were not truly related to each other, but I just gathered them together for a fun uh, little exploration of a thought. And uh, so there you go. That's the, the idea. We used uh, two different kinds of book pages here. One is an illustrated book page and uh, one is a written text book page. So let's get to it. Very easy. Uh, we're going to use up some more junk mail or actually packaging today. I'm, I'm using packaging, but you can use the direct mail cards from junk mail if you don't have any packaging handy. So um, I'm going to cut this into three pieces. And this you can do them any size, but I happen to do this one three different sizes. And I think I'm going to do that again. So I'm just going to cut a big one first, cut the next one a little smaller and the next one a little smaller and I'll be right back. I'm going to do that on my guillotine cutter. Okay, I used the guillotine cutter as opposed to the tearing ruler just because um, these cards are a little bit thicker and tearing ruler works better with uh, paper. And uh, so I'm, I'm using a cardstock thickness um, here. So this or very thin cardboard, I would say. And uh, it just works better with a, an official guillotine cutter um, or any, any cutter that you use for that. Scissors, scissors will work. Yep, they absolutely will. Okay, so I've got my three pieces. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do the easy uh, tube fold again. So let me just find some papers. What was I? Oh, okay. So I have um, an old book here. Uh, it was an old history book of some sort. Uh, and I was just looking here. These pages have, here, here's actually a good page. It's got a lot of color on it. I wouldn't necessarily use this picture myself, but I like the colors in it. So um, since I'm going to be cutting it up, this might work perfectly. So there we go. But don't let that tearing ruler go too far because we are going to use it. All right. So this is going to show. So I'm going to turn it over. Let's see if these are. Yes, they are. Okay. So I got to just <clears throat> sort of figure out here. And I want to do it wrong so I can show you a little trick I figured out, which is great. Um, okay, so let's do the let's just do the big one first. All right, where's my uh, glue stick? Okay, here we go, and we're gluing a little bit down, and just make sure it's up and to the top and the bottom, so your at your top and bottom edge are nice and glued. And then, uh, okay, so then we're going to bring in a tearing ruler and we're going to estimate uh, we want to go, actually, let's do this. Let's glue the first side down. So we're going to put the glue there and we're going to fold using the cardstock as our edge. That gives us a nice crisp edge. And then we're going to fold so we kind of know where we're headed here. Can you see? Okay. And now what we do, here's actually the easy trick. You just put this down and you peek. You just make sure you're covered. And if you're, if you're covered, then you can tear and everything should go smoothly. Okay, there we go. So now here, you wanna put the glue on this side. Because if you put the glue here, you might not put it exactly in the right space and then you've got glue in places you don't want it or not enough glue in the places where you do need it. So there is one. And we're going to do this two more times. Okay. Just following the process here. The old tube trick, I call this. Uh, this way you, uh, the seams aren't so bad to work with. can be uh, used for many different things. Actually, I'll just put you down while we're here. Okay. Put you here. All right. And you're in. And we're folding. And we're creasing. And we're folding again. So we know how far we have to go. Let's do our peak, peaking, peaking, and tearing. There we go. Not perfectly straight, but that's okay. It's all good. Oh, and we're gonna glue on this side. Yep, there we go. I have to remind myself sometimes, so don't worry if you forget. It happens to me too, all the time. Okay, there we go. All right, where'd the first one go? Well, did anybody see it? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I'll find it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? For some, oh, there it is right there. Okay. Perfect. All right. Whew. Okay. One more. Let's see where the color is that I want. I think I want that blue color. 
All right, am I in view? Okay, going here, Go, going there. All right, we got that. You can follow your font, your text line, so that uh, you know you're going straight. There we go. Doing everything to avoid measuring. <laughs> if there's a way, I'm going to find it. <laughs> That's my commitment to you. Um, okay, so here we go. Doing our peek, checking if we're straight. We're not straight because I've got so much stuff on my desk. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good there. All right, there we go. Yay! All right, now we're just going to glue this last baby down. Oh, get my watch clink in here. Sorry. Okay. There we go. All right. And fold it over. Okay. And we are glued. So we have our three bases. And uh, it's really a pretty simple project. Another one of these. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is so simple. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to trim them down. So um, it doesn't really, you can have them different lengths. That's totally fine. Um, but for this example, I think I'll do all the same length just so you can see. And bigger scissors would be better here. Okay, that's that end. I'm just making sure that the cardstock goes all the way to the end of the magazine by cutting. Okay, so everybody should be good and glued down. Double check your ends to make sure there's no loosies coming apart. If they are, just go in there with possibly some of this with the little uh, nubber, the metal nubber, and it's very easy to squirt in there. Everything seems to be pretty sealed. We're happy as clams and we're moving up. Okay, so this is going to be my bottom, middle, and top. And my first go, okay, let's do this. Let's ink first. And what color do you want to ink? Why don't you do, uh, let's do pink again. Uh, this is a kind of a bit of a shiny sort of paper, so it's not going to grab that well, but it will grab a little bit. So I'm just going for what, what, what have you, whatever I can get, I'm, I'm taking it. There we go. Yep, almost done. It's just giving a, a hue, a hue of pink. This is worn lipstick. Whoop. Okay. There's a lot of pink choices in the old uh, Tim Holtz distress ink pad category. Tim, Tim, if you're listening, you're probably not, but if you're listening, uh, could we have some more in the pink family, please? There's like a billion browns. But uh, not a lot of pinks and, you know, a lot of us do botanicals or, you know, vintage shabby chic and, and maybe we'd like to work with a little more pink in our palette. Tim, please. <laughs> That's my uh, Christmas wish. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. There we go. All inked up. Okay. So now here was uh, what I did the first time, which didn't work. And I'll just show you the tool I tried. Okay. So first of all, I came in with this thing. All right. It's like a, uh, it's got a very tiny hole. It's a one... 16th paper hole puncher and I got this at a, a craft show sale so I have no idea what it's called or where you get it but it's a 1 16th paper punch by McGill and I attempted to go through three of these and I failed okay so I had to like get you know it wasn't strong enough to get through three card stocks so I had to pull out the big guns got my crocodile the never fail me crocodile so you ta table tap and get them all together here and then just pick an end and you're going to use the little, the little one, which is one eighth. You see that? One eighth. I hope so. All right. So it's just going to make a small hole that's easy to punch. Okay. Ready? And we're punching. Okay. We got that. Got our hole. See our hole? Yep. There it is. And now we're going to pull out a very fancy tool called a brad. And you can get these at any office supply store, uh, any craft store. This is a very, this is probably an office supply type one. It's just to hold a bunch of papers together, but we can use it in our crafting, which is awesome. You can also get decorative uh, brads and things like that, which are fun as well. But for this particular one, I like the way the silver looks on it. So I'm just using this one and it's a shorty. He's got like a short, short little legs. So they come in handy. So look for, you know, take leg length into, into uh, consideration when you're doing these. Whoop! I have to retreat. I forgot to round my corners. Retreat, retreat. That's okay. This guy comes right out. All right. Back it up, Sally. All right. Get the job done. Like you were paid to do. Okay. Okay. Here it is right here. Okay. My corner chomper, which uh, you have a choice of a small chomp or a big chomp. And I'm going to go for a small chomp because these are sort of small chomp thing things. So I don't want to totally chomp the 
the end off. Um, and I have dropped my corner chomper on the floor and I lost the other wing. There's another wing here, but uh, it seems to function just fine. So I'm happy, not complaining. I'm happy for the chomp I get. That's right, still functions. It's a good workhorse, good workhorse item. You can just cut this around with the scissors. You can uh, take a, a nickel and just draw the circle, uh, the edge of it, and, that, and cut around that, fussy cut it. Okay. And uh, there, we got that one. That's all done. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, now we got to arrange these in the order from whence they came. Back you go. You too. Get in line. All right, everybody's behaving. Good. And now we're just going to pop our little Brad back in place. And we're going to town. All right, there we go. And doing the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have the basic setup, and then you can do whatever you want on here. You can decorate them, you can collage them. I'm going to use another book page and put some words on them. So I grabbed, where is it? I grabbed, oh, here it is. Okay, just a random, this is a, a, a book page that has larger font. And I'm just looking for something on here that might look interesting. Let's put it on the barn. Okay, here's kind of something unusual. Um, I've got three little lines down here on the bottom. Went to sea in a bowl. If the bowl had been stronger, my song had been longer. <laughs> I think that's just kind of cute. Uh, that'll be a head scratcher. How about that? That'll be a head scratcher for whoever gets this. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gently tearing. You can use a tear ruler for this if you want. Um, you get a different tear when you hand tear versus ruler tear. So I'm, uh, for this particular thing, um, enjoying the hand tear uh, look. All right. You could put a couple lines on each one. You could put one line here, one line here, but I'm just going to put one on each. See that cute little 16? I'm going to save that. Just for fun. Maybe we'll, maybe we might even use it on this project, but those things are just so cute. And this uh, paper is just the greatest feel. You know, it's a thicker paper, quality paper, probably from an older book. Love those older books. Every once in a while you find uh, an old book with, that just has the most amazing paper in it. It's, uh, it's hypnotic, for gosh sakes. I love it. Anybody else feel that way? Um, how about onion skin? You guys remember that paper? I think... Uh, they used it for possibly airmail and possibly for the first few pages of a book. Like you have your first main page and then you have that thinner page, kind of a protector page. That was a nice feel too. Okay, so here we go. Now what we're deciding at this grand moment is do we want um, contrast? We already have a great contrast between the white and the blue and um, between the font and the, uh, the text and the non-text. But I think I would just like to emphasize it. A little bit so I'm just going to take this little there's a little bit of black on here black soot uh, distress ink yeah, 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 yeah. there it is black soot okay and I'm just lightly going around the edges I'm not doing a halo not doing anything like that but just to have it just be a little more distinct okay so where is my glue stick all right, so as you can see, these are extremely simple and easy to pop off a bunch. If you're gonna do a bunch of them, I'd, I'd recommend cutting a bunch up and then doing them. So you can sit down in front of the TV and eat your popcorn while you do it. Um, no better though, because that'll get all over your stuff. So just dry popcorn. Okay, um, next one, went to sea in a bowl. Oop, I couldn't, didn't wanna lose the middle line. That'd be a disaster. Um, okay, if the bowl had been stronger, <laughs> Funny thing. Who 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 thinks of this? Huh? Apparently, it was famous enough, famous enough to uh, write it down, and it made it into a book. If the bowl had been stronger, my song had been longer. I wonder if it's an old uh, sailor song, maybe because there were a lot of sailors way back when going and exploring the world, and maybe it was all part of that time. Yeah, I'll just I'll just think that. That's a nice thought. All right, here we go, and it's going down. All right. Now you might need to do a test to see if everything is covered. And you don't need to have them all translated north. You could have them layered like a, a wedding cake, you know, one on top of each other. Um, just totally uh, 
you know, artist's preference. Um, but I just thought I made one like that, so I thought I'd show you how I did that. Just wanted to, so you could see it right from the get-go. Yeah, all right. Are you guys having fun? I hope you're having fun. That's what it all boils down to. And the fun here is always going to be on the simple lane, the simple track, easy projects, and uh, but hopefully we'll make it look like masters in the end. And uh, you never have to tell anybody how easy it is, okay? You just let them think that you sweat for days. and Well, you might have sweat for days. <laughs> I don't want to take that. I sweat for days sometimes, honestly. But um, uh, you know what? Just don't. You could tell them. All right, go ahead and tell them how much fun you had. I want you to spread the word that fun can be simple. So there you go. All right. I hope you had fun. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Um, let me do a little presentation here. Went to see in a bowl. If the bowl had been stronger, my song had been longer. Okay, that's just gonna be, you can tuck that in a tall currency pocket or clip it to the side of a book, or you can hang it over the, the top of a page, you know, like, like this. You know, if that was my finger was the page, you can do that. And I think I've got this little cutie 16 here and he just says, use me, I'm here. Don't ignore me, I'll fall off and I'll get stuck to the bottom of your shoe and I'll never be seen or heard from again. But I, I'm going to immortalize you, number 16. You are going to be on the end of this, this first one. Oh, I got 15 on the back, but nope, it's going to be 16 because that's where the glue is. Okay, there we go. There we go. And nobody will know what that reference is, but they'll think, well, I'm sure that's something important and I have no idea what it is. And you could put different numbers on these two. Why not, right? I just don't happen to have any numbers right now, but um, there you go. That's it. So there was this little guy and let me find the original one. Hang on. Okay, here is this little guy and this little guy. So uh, just some fun playing with the paper tonight and, uh, you know, just uh, trying different things. Let's see what, you know, let's try goofy things. And sometimes something might work and that's, that's always fun. And if not, it didn't work. It's only paper and we always remember that. So it's no big deal. Nobody, nobody crying. I don't want any tears. And um, um, create with reckless abandon. That's most important. Just have fun. Be free. Uh, your crafting time is your time and uh, hopefully it's a special uh, relaxing time for you and uh, I'm sure you may feel as I feel there's never enough time to craft you know if you really love to craft you could craft for days but that old life keeps interfering and interrupting and knocking on the door and you know bills have to be paid and things like that so I understand <laughs> but uh, do what you can and um, even a little crafting is good if, if you're walking by and you got a you know piece of paper here and, and you're thinking, huh, you know, I feel like crafting. I have no time, but, uh, you know, what would it like if I threw, I just had random stuff on the side of my, uh, my desk here. I've got stuff like, what, what would it look like if I put that down? And I'm just like sparking ideas in my head. And uh, what have I made? I've made a collage. I could uh, ink around these. These would pop then. I could make this into a little turn flip or an uppy flip. Um, this could be uh, a little bottom tuck or a little side tuck. I mean, there's a million things that you can do when you just throw some things on a page and <clears throat> start having your brain roll around with and uh, get some new ideas. So if you had some fun here, if you found some value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, please check out, uh, I have a new podcast called The Paper Outpost. Um, the joy of junk journals and right now it's being uploaded to different um, uh, sites and right now it's on you can find it on anchor spotify or radio radio platform or radio public or something like that but i put all the links below the videos and um, I, this was news to me i i always knew that the descriptions on the computer you could see below the video but apparently there's a little button Beside the title of the video on the phone, at least on the Android, it's a little arrow that points down. If you punch, if you click that, it'll drop the uh, description down so you can see that information as well. And um, oh, we've got our Facebook page is rocking and rolling. I'm getting to see lots of stuff that you guys are doing. That's awesome. If you're unbelievably shy or you don't like to go on Facebook, you're always welcome to email me your pictures of what you make too at the pap thepaperoutpost at gmail.com. That's um, my email. Um, and uh, what else? I oh. Um, Oh, I, we've got the uh, the links for all the favorite products and tools below. Oh, I went ahead and cleaned up all the bottoms of a lot of the uh, 
uh, the videos so you can find stuff easier. So you should be able to find playlists and, um, you know, all, you know, like my Etsy and, and Pinterest and Instagram and all that kind of stuff much faster and easier, I hope. And um, what else? Um, the Facebook group is coming. It's just probably not going to come till the beginning of the, uh, the year so I can get that all nice and wrapped up for you guys and, and presented well. And we're going to have some fun on that. So that is coming. Um, uh, apologize for the delay on that, but I just want to do it right. And um, what else? I think that's about it. So happy crafting, everybody. You guys have an awesome day. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, going to go have a snack. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So take care, everybody. Have, have happy crafting, and I'll see you soon. Bye.